To transform in Mesh Mixer, you'll start by clicking the Edit button and then going up to the Transform menu. And when you open this up, you'll see that there is a menu here on the left side, as well as several different colored shapes here over top of your model. There are arrows, triangles, these arches here, and then some colored boxes, as well as a white box in the center. What these do is they give you different options for moving, manipulating, and resizing your model. So if you start with, you have the arrows here. Clicking and dragging will allow you to move your model in a one directional plane. So each of these allows you to move your model back and forth, up and down, and side to side. If you come over here to the menu on the left and click Enable Snapping, what this does is it changes the movement from free to an attempt by the program to snap the object to a certain degree. So right now it's set to 2.5 millimeters. You can actually change this. So for example, if you change it to 5, it will now attempt to snap every 5 degrees. This just gives you a little bit more control over how you move your object. And if you turn that off, it will move back to moving freely. The triangles give you the option to move diagonally. So basically any direction that the triangle is moving in, it allows you to move the object in that direction. So for example, in this direction, this direction, and this direction. So this just gives you a little bit more control. So instead of having to go up and then over, you can just click the triangle and move it in that direction. The arches allow you to rotate. So clicking and dragging will allow you to rotate your objects in different directions. And also, you also have the ability here. So this allows you to free rotate. But if you click and hold and then move over, you'll see that there is a circle made up of lines. This again is moving to snap. So this is actually a really nice option here because say, for example, you want to turn rotate 90 degrees. This will actually show you when you've hit 90. So this allows you to uh, rotate to a specific degree, and that can be really helpful. So say that you're unhappy with this rotation, um, you can click Control Z if you're on a Windows machine, and that will undo the changes that you've made so far. You can also do go to the Action menu and click Undo to go back to where you were before. Now the squares here uh, will allow you to resize your object. So if you click on any of the, the colored squares, it will, it will resize along a plane. So as you can see, this isn't exactly the way we want the object to look because it's skewing it in a, in a very um, unusual way. So see here, it's pulled it out to the side, but it's made the object very unproportional. So if you want to resize uh, everything proportionally, you'll actually use this white box that's in the center. So if you click and drag outward, what it will do is it will rotate the, or it will uh, resize the object in a proportional manner so that everything stays the same size. So these are options that allow you to manipulate your object uh, freely. So if you wanna have a little bit more uh, direct control and precision on how you're changing your object, you can actually come over to the menu here. So actually all of these options here are over here as well, but they allow you to input direct commands. So say for example, that you want to move your object from 19 to 30, 39. Click there and it will hop it directly up to that exact coordinate. Say you want to rotate by 90 degrees. Click there and it will rotate by 90 on the x-axis. Scaling will scale your object up by that amount of degrees, so by two. And automatically this is on uniform. You can actually turn that off, but by default it's a uniform scale. And then in addition to that, that, this will scale the whole object, but if you also want to just change the size, you can come down here and change whatever millimeter you want. So say, for example, from 98 going to 58, and that will scale your object back down. And this, this allows you to change the scale and the size. So these are all the options here. And then in order to accept your changes, um, you would click the Accept button, and what that will do is it will uh, Tell the program will tell the model that these are we are accepting the changes that you've made and it will close out of this menu. If you aren't happy with the changes that you've made, you can click cancel and it will close this menu and undo all of the changes that you previously made. And that is how you do transforms using Mesh Mixer.